Uh, Sonic Yellow from Sega Driven here. Um, welcome to my new place. Uh, there's been a bit of a delay between the last video uh, because, yeah, I've been moving. So, um, this is obviously very, very delayed, but I wanted to do it anyway because I love the event. Uh, Sonic Amateur Games Expo happened in August and there was some fantastic stuff and I really, really enjoyed the event. Some great games on show. And here's my favourite. So, um, yeah. In, Enjoy what's featured and go out and make sure you play the games and support, um, you know, Sonic Amateur Fan Gaming. It's, it's a great thing. Uh, make sure you check out Sonic Fan Games HQ. It's one of my favourite websites of all time. Uh, the first I ever discovered in the Sonic community and it's still going strong. The forum's a great place to go. Uh, always some great projects to see and bits and pieces and whatnot. So yeah, um, so yeah, here's my favourite games of Sage. Hope you enjoy. So first up we have Emerald Tides. Uh, this has been a regular at Sage for many years, but it's been on a bit of a hiatus for uh, maybe a couple of years now. It's great to see it back. It's got a lot of character and some lovely spot effects that always used to wow me back in the day. Uh, my personal fave is the motion blur that occurs when Sonic gets up to top speed. Uh, what I've always liked about this game is that it appears to use completely original graphics and doesn't just colour change a load of existing Sonic tiles. But yeah, top game, plays like you'd expect a Sonic game to and looks lovely, so certainly worth a look. Next up we have Freedom Planet, which is just beautiful. Uh, not a Sonic fan game in the traditional sense, but more an indie game with Sonic elements. It's a traditional platformer with them, some lovely speedy moments which will remind you of Sonic, but it also brings in melee combat into the mix, and a nice little mechanic for acquiring an air dash move, which is pretty nifty. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it looks lovely, and it's fantastic to see a fan game use original assets for all of the game's graphics. Uh, Freedom Planet definitely comes highly recommended. Sonic before the sequel has been out for a while, but its appearance at this year's Sage is, it was still very special because the game now comes with a completely original soundtrack and some nice little touch-ups to the graphics and stages themselves. Uh, it's still a fantastic Sonic game with some brilliant gimmicks of its own and some fantastic boss battles, but now it feels more like its own game, which can only be a good thing. Also on show was Sonic after the sequel, the follow-up to, so the follow -up to Sonic before the sequel. I'm going to get tired of saying the sequel a lot very soon. Uh, the usual quality you'd expect to see is, is here in Sonic after the yada yada yada. And the stages look absolutely magnificent uh, with all the additional detail and goings on in the background. The formula is very much the same in, in the gameplay department but more of a good thing is definitely not a bad thing. And I'm looking forward to seeing much more of this game in the future. Sonic Zero returns for another stage but with a whole new look and a lot more to offer. Loads of new stage gimmicks on show here, with the water jets being a personal fave for me, and uh, travelling by tube is always great fun to watch. Uh, this, I especially like Sonic's anime look, which is very unique and eye-catchy. Uh, the game spends a little too much time underwater, especially as I assume this is supposed to be the first stage, but it's certainly a cracking little game, regardless. The real surprise for me was the appearance of our last game, The Emerald's Awakening. Uh, this game is really pulling out all the stops to try and bring something different to Sonic fan gaming. There's some fantastic little spot effects like the clever muffling of the soundtrack when you go underwater and there's also one of the best homing attacks I've used in a 2D fan game. It also makes for a nice little air dash when there's nothing to home in on as well. Uh, it also looks brilliant with a stunning tile set and some nice touches like the light shining through the water. Definitely, definitely a game to keep an eye on, so yeah, highly recommended.